Okay, so we're here with mighty Melissa McMorrow. I don't think I've ever mispronounced your name, so that's a unique thing for a fighter. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm really good today. So uh, what happened between you and Ava and I at the WBC Women's Convention? Uh, we kind of called each other out because it's been a long time, and we've both been fighting for a long time. Um, we're both at the top of our weight class, and we want to get a fight going. <laughs> okay. And I didn't know that you two were in the same weight division. Um, have you always been that way? Have I always been that ignorant? Uh, well, so uh, we both fought in the amateurs at the same time. We fought each other at 110 pounds, so it's kind of somewhere in the middle. I dropped down at some point in the amateurs, so I fought as low as 106. Amateurs, I fought 106, and it's a pro, as low as 105. So I've just kind of stayed in the lower ends of the range. I think that 112 is the lowest Ava can go. It's kind of a good medium range for me. So I fought between 105, and I had one fight at 115, so I've kind of... Staying in that range, Ava's fought, I think, the lowest 108, and then I think she's fought up to 125 or something. I'm not exactly sure, but I mean, she kind of, I think she kind of bottoms out at maybe 108, and I kind of top out at <laughs> 112, 115, so. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So how did that, those amateur fights go, when, that you guys have history? Um, so Ava won both of them. Um, but mostly, it was, I think, in, inexperience. Like I, it was my, my first couple fights ever as an amateur where she'd been kind of fighting for a couple years already. So it was a great experience for me. To, you know, I learned a lot, and um, now I think I would beat her. So, I mean, it was, that was 10 years ago, so it's just... And you know the scouting report on Ava is everyone says Ava's got crack. So um, how do you think you'd counteract that? Uh, well, I've been working my defense a lot. Um, I catch a lot of punches and stuff, and I slip a lot, so... You know, I think that it would be hard for her to, to, to really find me. Um, also, I'm an inside fighter, so it's hard to get power on, for inside blows. So, you know, I think that um, I can kind of defend myself well against that. Um, also, I spar people. I spar like a lot of people, bigger people and stuff, and they all can hit. So I don't think that she could, she'll bring anything that I've never seen. Okay, that's, that's real. Um... I guess when you say it like that, do you think that you're stylistically just a tough matchup for Ava Knight? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think uh, she's a, a, a bit taller than me. Um, I fight people that are a bit taller than me all the time. So sometimes I feel like it's a little bit more disconcerting for taller fighters to fight me because I'm so short um, that they're not used to that, you know, where I am used to fighting people taller than me. So I think I have a little bit of an edge there. You know, I've really learned to kind of... Um, uh, manipulate my distance and timing to kind of suit my style. So um, I think it'd be tough for her. Okay. How does it feel to be the WBO champion? Um, it feels great. <laughs> you know, um, when I first got the title, I, I didn't think there would be anything different because there's not really money or anything that comes with it. But what I found is like, it, you know, it really, it still marks a little place in history, sort of. So that's, that's cool. Okay. And do you think that you're going to go down as like a California State Hall of Famer for your boxing career? Is that something you ever think about? Uh, I don't really think about it. I, I mean, I, I guess I'd be really honored if that happened, but I, I don't really think about it. You know, I'm just trying to get my, you know, fights and just, I don't know, do my thing. 